Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to be working on the Subaru. As you can tell by the title, um, unfortunately I have experienced engine failure again with this car. At this stage, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, I'm thinking it's either gonna be head gasket or um, like a cracked piston split bore, or something like that. Got extreme pressure in the crankcase to the point where oil is coming out of my catch can hose here um, or my catch can breather and the hoses are being blown off by the pressure. Also having bubbles in the coolant expansion tank, which is a key sign of uh, gasket failure. Either way, engine's got to come out, strip down and diagnose. Um, so it's not too much work. It looks like a work, lot of work, but it's not a whole lot to get it out. So I do have a stock EJ205 over here. Um, it's just had a timing belt and water pump and all that done. Um, so this is going to be the engine that goes in for a while. Um, while I diagnose the 207, what's wrong with it, um, what I'm going to do about it. Um, so whether I'm gonna go with another 207, maybe a built engine, not 100% sure. Um, car was running about 22 PSI at the time that it failed. Um, had been up to about 25 at some stages before that. Either way, um, got our work cut out for now. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing, get the car up on some ramps so there's just a little bit of work movement under the car. Don't need a whole lot, um, just enough so that you can still easily work on it, but quickly reach around underneath. Uh, and we'll get everything off the top. Um, so mainly, it'll start with removing the catch can, uh, removing the intake side of things, getting the cooling system out, battery obviously all disconnected, um, getting the parts on the front here removed. Um, so I'll just go bit by bit, couple time lapses and show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so I have the radiator system out of the front here. Um, and most of the intercooler pipes off the top of the car. I just need to get this one off down the side here. Um, but as you can see, once you get the radiator out, you get a lot more room and the battery. So once that stuff's out, there's a lot more room to work. Um, it's pretty basic actually. Okay, so it's nearly time to take the engine out. Um, I've got all the accessories off. Okay, so it's nearly time to take the engine out. Um, I've got all the accessories off the front, the alternator pad, steering neck on all gone. Um, intake, everything is moved off the side here, all that's out there. At the back, um, I've loosened the O2 sensor at the top. Um, I need to get under the car, remove the O2 sensor from down there. Gearbox is all disconnected, all the bolts and stuff are undone. Um, these two downpipe studs are, or bolts are here just to hold the downpipe uh, when I do drop it at the back so that all the weights are on the one at the bottom. Apart from that, it's time just to get under the car and get all of this stuff off. It shouldn't be hard at all. So my camera wrapped flat, I've just given it a quick charge, um, but the engine's out as you saw from those little clips. Um, I've now stripped most of the engine down, um, most of the accessories are all off, I've got my intake manifold over there, I'm going to give it a quick touch up with some paint, um, but most of the stuff's off here. Um, I'm now going to cross on this block um, and just putting bolts in the holes where I can, and I'm going to tape up everything um, and give it a good clean, make sure it's all nice and clean before I do anything. Um, so I use some petrol brake cleaner, degrees of that kind of thing, air gun, that stuff. First and most important key though is making sure everything important, all these sensor ports, everything just all blocked off. So I'm just going through that process now, um, getting it ready to be transferred over. Okay, so I've got the engine um, over here, away from kind of the old, the old engine. Um, giving it a quick spray down with some degreaser to clean it up. Um, and then I'll be using some fuel, maybe brake cleaner. Um, as always, I've blocked off everything. Um, so I'll just be using this, some fuel, a little agitation brush, um, and then blowing it out with the air compressor. Okay, so as you can see, engine is nice and clean now. Um, it's still got a bit of dirt and stuff here or there, but it's gonna do me for now. It doesn't have to be anything amazing as this engine isn't staying in there long. Um, next, I'm probably gonna clean up TGV uh, mounting points here, uh, but apart from that, it's mainly just going to move the sensors over, all that kind of stuff. I do want to paint the manifold, uh, and my TGV deletes are over there as well. I want to give them a paint, um, get the engine bay looking a bit nicer this round, 
um, but mainly um, it's just some fabrication work I need done. So we're going to get a V-band welded on this 3 bolt flange that always blows out. Apart from that, it uh, should be good. Um, so I'll probably leave that video here now guys. Um, might keep pulling this apart, not too sure. Um, but for now, that's kind of going to be it. Um, next video we'll be getting this block ready. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, know it's a bit of a surprise, I haven't made much. I want to get more content going. I have an oil pressure um, and oil temperature gauge installed that I'm going to post up in a couple of days as well. Um, but I kind of just wanted to, yeah, get back on the grind, get some more videos going out because I do get a lot of messages saying, hey, when are you going to make another video? Um, but yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see, any questions, comment below. Um, follow my Instagram, I'll put it on the screen now. Otherwise, yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.